Hey guys. <sighs> hey guys, it's Jules, and I know I've been away for like three months. It's been a while, but um, I'm not gonna explain it in this video. But um, I, if you uh, check out my intro, um, I mean my outro, there is um, links to all my social medias and on my Twitter. There is an explanation as to why I haven't been posting. And I really appreciate it if you all just support me in that. If you haven't, that's also okay. But it's just, that's how I feel about this. So anyways, I'm here to uh, show you guys a haul of what I've gotten recently. Let me tell you, it's a lot. It's a lot. Because um, I haven't posted in a while. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys what I got in the past three months. And hopefully I will get everything but probably not, <laughs> otherwise it will be like a half an hour video and you guys probably won't watch that. And what's the point of making a half an hour video because I'm not monetized. Okay, so one of the first things I've gotten is a Geek Wisdom, The Sacred Teachings of Nerd Culture, which I got from my friend Michaela for my uh, birthday and she was really nice. She got me so much stuff and I literally asked her to literally give me nothing, but she's awesome and I love her. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, but I'll probably bring her on for one of my videos because she's great. Um, so this is basically just telling you all these like little um, facts about stuff. It's like there's Star Wars stuff and Doctor Who and Sherlock and all that good stuff in here. And it's really fun to read and I'm super excited just to chill out and read all this stuff about D&D and Transformers. So that's all for this shelf that I got. Um, I have some new stuff on my counter that I literally just bought. But I'm going to get to the stuff that's actually on my bookshelf first. One of the newer things I got is a Jughead Jones pop figure from Riverdale, and it has, he's in his little Southside Serpents outfit. The next two things that I got were little figurines, so I have like a little uh, lucky Chinese cat that I got from my friend Michaela, who also gave me the Geek Wisdom book, and I have a statue of the Indian god Ganesh, which my Aunt Kate gave me for my birthday. The next thing that I have is a bookmark jar that was hand-painted by my friend Tiffany. We, um, we did a little white elephant slash Yankee gift thing in my book club and I got it with this and I'm really happy with it because it's awesome. I can keep all my bookmarks in it without having to like go like, oh my gosh, where's my bookmark? I don't know where it is. Ah. How much time do I have left? Okay. All right, the next things that I got were uh, little pens, uh, pen tools from my uh, writing club instructor. She's really nice. She's a librarian, local library system. Her, her name's Lori, she's awesome, and she gave every single one, all of the, every single one of us, like, these pens that look like tools, but they're, they're pens. The next thing that I got was a uh, little Thor uh, enamel pin, which is the um, newest series in the Marvel Gear and Goodies Loot Crate. So basically, they aren't coming with the villain set anymore, they're coming with the little, um, like, comic book covers pins. So this one was the Thor one, and the one that I got recently was a Captain Marvel one, which I will show off soon. Okay, the next new thing that I got is uh, 642 Tiny Things to Write About. It's a little writing prompt book from my uh, good friend Emmy. Next thing that I got is super dumb, but I want it. <laughs> it's a little giraffe duck. Um, yeah, so there's this claw machine at my movie theater where you can get rubber ducks and basically it's not allowed it doesn't allow you to stop until you've won something which is really nice plus it's really easy to win and I got a giraffe wow okay I just lost all that footage okay so the next things I got I'm just gonna show you all in one it's um, Stranger Things season 2 or Stranger Things figures I got Eleven in her bitchin outfit and it's awesome I love it so much it's a box of box Blech. Box Lunch exclusive, so you can only get it at Box Lunch. And I got uh, Mike and his cute little Ghostbusters outfit. Um, it's really cute. I love it a lot. Uh, these Ghostbusters outfits, I believe, are being sold everywhere, so you can find them virtually in any store that will sell it. The next thing that I have is a little uh, figurine, like from like a little Strange Things blind bag that I got from uh, the family that I babysit from. Next one that I have is Max with her little skateboard. Now Max is like a new character in Stranger Things and she's awesome. I love her. She's super cool. She's super chill. And then, of course, I have the special boy, Dustin. I don't want to know. The next thing that I have is a Scarlet Witch season, uh, Civil War 
pop figure and you're probably like, Jules, you already have one. Yes, I know. Um, so I got it from a secret Santa from my art club and it was really nice. She, it's a super sweet gesture. However, I already have one, so I'm probably just going to turn it into a Manon pop figure. That's why it was on my throne glass shelf, or I might just start a moss shelf in general. So the first two things that I have are the uh, two from the DC Bombshell series. So I have Wonder Woman and Poison Ivy. I bought, uh, my dad bought me this Wonder Woman uh, pop figure um, from Books A Million. And then I don't know where my friend Riley got this from because it was for my birthday. But thank you, Riley. And I love both of them a lot. I love the DC Bombshell series. Now, the next two pop figures that I have are like super special, like special editions, kind of. I have Scarecrow and another Poison Ivy pop figure. I love Poison Ivy so much. She's like one of my all-time favorite villains. Also, Scarecrow. Scarecrow is another one of my all-time favorite villains. Like from both DC and Marvel, and that's actually saying something because I like Marvel a little bit better than DC. The first book that I got is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. Now, Saba's really nice. I um, went to one of her panels and she's super cool, super chill, super nice. Um, and she talked about her book a lot and how it was really empowering for her to write it. And I was like, okay, um, I'm gonna have to pick it up. <laughs> the next book that I have is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. And I got this from my writing club instructor. She's a librarian, she's awesome. Um, basically, she, uh, the library was giving away a bunch of free books, so she was like, hey, can, I can bring them to my writing club and they can just take them. So I got this one in it. I also got another book, which I'll be showing a little bit later. The next book that I have is I Like You Like This by Heather Kamiski, and I love Heather Kamiski so much. I've actually met her in person. She's super nice, super funny. I actually hung out with her at a local author festival, and the reason I um, met her is because she um, she came in uh, with to my writing club and talked about writing, and she also actually read some of my work. and. She said uh, that was really cool. The next book that I have is Black Eyes by Becca Fitzpatrick, and this is like kind of like a thriller. It's like this girl and a guy, they're stuck in a cabin on a mountain, but they realize like that everything's the same. And this was just kind of more of a cover buy because let's be real, this cover is gorgeous. Alright, the next book that I have is uh, Between Shade of J Shades of Grey by Ruta Septis, and I'm super excited for this. I've heard Ruta Septis is an amazing author. I've also heard this book is really good because it talks about people that we didn't like really recognize in concentration camps. It's like concentration camps in uh, Siberia, I believe. So this next book that I have is um, Everless by Sarah Holland, and I actually got the arc of it, which is super cool. I did not read the arc before it, um, uh, came out. So this is something that my friend Mark gave me for my birthday. It's really sweet, really awesome. It is 125 pack of gel pens. Um, unfortunately, they kind of like broke. Yeah, see. They broke off. But there's a lot in here. And they're awesome to draw with. I love them a lot. Alright, next thing is an awesome bag. It just has Book Nerd on it, right? Yeah, Book Nerd. It's a Barnes & Noble bag, so you can get them from Barnes & Noble. They have like ones like Books Not Bombs and Read Local and stuff like that. So I have uh, brush markers slash Copic markers and skin tone sets. This one was from my brother Rebecca, who was really awesome. She got me Copic markers. And I love her so much. She's so sweet. She's such a cinnamon roll. Ugh. And then this I bought myself with um, some gift cards that my friends got me and they're really awesome to work with. They're really cool. If you need ever need like brush markers, the um, Tombow brand is the way to go. And I also got um, this from my friend Maddie. It's a pen, set of inking pens. Now she also gave me uh, another pen. It's a Jelly Roll uh, white pen. So basically it goes over anything and it turns it white. It's just really helpful if I forgot to put in a highlight or something. She also got me a sketchbook, well, which I'll be showing next. Here's the sketchbook that Mad got me. She's really sweet, awesome. And what I have in here, I just have a quick Copic testing thing real quick. But my main thing, my main girl, is I'm working on it, but it's a Ann Wheeler from The Greatest Showman, which is one of my all-time favorite movies. If you haven't watched it, check it out. Okay, now these next three things are prints that I got from Comic-Con, which was in September, so I probably didn't show them off, but they're really cool, and I love them a lot. They're from a local artist. I don't remember his name, unfortunately, but also I probably wouldn't give it, unfortunately, because I don't like people knowing my location. 
presentation. It's just kind of a thing that I, um, yeah, it's just privacy issues. But they're really cool. There's a Scarlet Witch one, then a Winter Soldier one, and then a Wonder Woman one. Next thing was a birthday present from my friend Alex, which is super nice. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. She's awesome. She got me a Thor Ragnarok little mini poster, and um, it's super nice. She also got me a Sephora gift card with it, which I'm excited about because I need new foundation that doesn't turn me orange. Alright, so the next thing that I got is a super big sketchbook from my friend Emma. She also got me a bunch of a set of drawing pencils, but they're scattered around places and I don't want to grab all of them. The next thing that I got was from my friend Rebecca for Christmas. Yes, I'm kind of going all over the place, I know. Uh, she was the one that got me this set of Copic markers, which was really nice. She also got me this for Christmas. Uh, it's a free-to-be journal, and it just, um, it's Ariel. She knows how much I love my rides, and she knows how much I have a weird obsession with journals, because I have so many journals. I never, ever, ever, ever use them, but it's worth it. They're really cool. So these next two things are things that I got from my friend Juliana. Uh, <laughs> we actually have the same name, but nickname is Jules. I um, prefer you call me Jules on this channel, just because I like being called Jules. So she got me a journal that says Faith on it, and she also got me a little packet of erasers. So the next thing that I have is a Wake Home Intuos drawing tablet, and this, <laughs> this is awesome. I love it so much. I'm not sure how to exactly use it, but I'm learning myself. Like, I'm trying to like teach myself how to use it, but my friend Rebecca knows how to use it, so I'll probably just ask her. Next uh, few pieces are clothing, jewelry, and accessories. So the first thing I got was this hat, which is a Stranger Things hat, and it says the world is turning upside down with like the Stranger Things font logo. And then I also have this awesome Stranger Things sweatshirt that I just bought today, actually. It has Eleven, Mike, uh, Lucas, and Dustin on it from season one, just like walking in like the Beatles Abbey Road cover. So um, this, next, this next piece that I have is a little elephant thing, which I got from my friend Michaela. Uh, who got me the cat and the geek wisdom thing. It's really cute. I love elephants and she knows how much I love elephants so that's really nice. And then this thing I bought myself. It's, <laughs> it's an 11 yet necklace. Also I have a problem with buying Stranger Things merchandise. I really do. I mean... You can tell. <laughs> yeah. I have more as well. This isn't my only stuff. The entirety of this next stuff I got today, and then after that I'm going to go into the Loot Crate stuff that I have, and then it'll be done. One of the first things that I got today is uh, We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallach. Wallach? Wallach? I don't know. But basically, it's um, it was on sale. See, you can tell it's a 20% off Target sticker. So these next two things that I got are reading accessories. So I got a book light and a bookmark. This bookmark, the bookmark I got from Barnes and Noble, and this uh, book light I got from Target. All right. So the next book that I got is a uh, Batman Nightwalker by Marie Lu. So this is a Batman story about when Bruce Wayne's about 18 and he's just deciding that he wants to become Batman. The next book that I got is Zenith by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings, and this is the Biblio Squad book pick for February. I believe our live show is March 3rd, I believe. Let me check. <laughs> the next book that I got from Barnes Noble is uh, Runaways by Christopher Golden. It's, so, it's a Marvel Runaways book, uh, which is a show that's streaming on Hulu. Unfortunately, I haven't watched it because I don't have Hulu. Alright, so the next thing that I got is uh, Injustice Gods Among Us Year 2, the complete collection. So it's all about Year 2 of the Injustice Saga, which is a video game. If you didn't know, I have Year 1 and I really enjoyed reading it. I read it in a day. I read three graphic novels in a day. Yeah. Okay. So the last thing that I got is a uh, journal. <laughs> like I said, I need help. This is one I bought today. So the actually only the only reason that I bought this journal today is because I had the weirdest dream last night, and it was a really cool plot for a story. I'm not going to tell you because I don't want anyone to steal it, but I'm super excited to write it, and I've always wanted to just write something in a journal and just write it on there instead of typing it. Right. All this next stuff is some Loot Crate stuff that I got, so it continue, It uh, goes from like, uh, I don't even remember.
remember what's the last loot crate box I made. Alright, so I know I haven't shown you this box, so I'll just show you what's the uh, stuff I got from it. So I got, um, a def this was the Defenders box, because Defenders came out at that time, this was the September box, and it was really cool. So this comes with like folders. So the Defenders box was mainly about office supplies, which I found a little weird, but it was really cool. Because it came with this, it was like a little desk candy thing. So the next thing that I got is a mug that says Sweet Christmas, which if you didn't know, is Luke Cage's catchphrase. Because he doesn't like to curse, so instead of saying like, holy S word, he just says, Sweet Christmas. The other box that I got was a Thor box, which I showed you the enamel pin from. Unfortunately, however, I do not have any of that stuff up here because it was all dining table set. Oh, but it did come with a shirt. It came with a cool 8-bit Thor Ragnarok shirt. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna find it real quick. Alright, so here it is. I was too lazy to put the sleeves out, but it's a Thor Ragnarok 8-bit shirt. All the stuff that came in the Thor box was like dining wear sets, so it came with like Loki, um, Thor, and Hella cookies cutters, and it came with um, the enamel pin, obviously, and then it came with um, a, like a Lady Thor snack tray set. So here is all the stuff from the newest loot crate, which is the Marvel Go Gear and Goodies Jet Set Pack, which is like about traveling and stuff, which is actually super helpful because I'm traveling. <laughs> and like soon, in a week. And this was really helpful. So it came first with a little Captain Marvel enamel pin. It's kind of weird. Um, it's the Marvel Vehicles Owner's Workshop Manual. So like it tells you all the blueprints and stats of each Marvel vehicle. These are really what's going to help me on my trip. So it's a little like toiletries bag or it's really, it's a dop kit, D-O-P-P -P kit. And it also comes with a carry-on bag that's Black Panther themed because the Black Panther movie is coming out in less than a week. I'm so excited for that. I I'm a good, right? Yeah, I'm good. Okay guys, so that was a lot of filming and a lot of editing that we're gonna have to do. Okay, um, but I, um, thank you so much for watching. I'm super excited to, um, post more. I post whenever I can, really. I post whenever I'm feeling motivated and when I can and when I'm done editing, so I don't know really when this is coming out. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be the same day that I film this, but no promises. I might branch out into more art-related things, like speed drawings and stuff, like, you know, like drawing time-lapse things, maybe that. Who knows? But I am excited to um, maybe branch out into those things and just, I'm excited to post more because I feel bad when I don't post, but I don't wanna, you know, force myself to do anything. Like, comment, subscribe. My All my social medias are in my outro and in the description, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye! Perfect.